Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping back into the H-Jet here in CYOW. The purpose of this one is to cover the Logitech radio panel and how to make a display switch between showing you different things. So we're going to work with conditional elements and the radio panel. So let's go ahead and jump into this feature edition. Since this one's all about the radio panel, we're already loaded up and ready to go. The question that came up, the individual used the previous snippet and on the transponder, the left window was displaying the barrow. Now, you might also have different controls. I'm just trying to quickly show how to set up the display. So we're going to go to add event. We're going to set up the left display. And what we want to do on the left display is pick the data value. And so here we want the Colesman setting, but in inches of mercury. Now we are going to force it in this case, 29.98, where two digits decimal two digits. And so that's what the format does for us. Now, what we want to do is create a condition. So we're going to add a condition. And normally what happens is we create a new local variable. And this local variable is going to be called barrel mode. We're going to make it a number. Default, we want it to always load up with a zero, and this doesn't need any decimal places. So now we have barrel mode, and when it equals zero, that's when we'll get this display. So there, we got our first one. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to paste it. And we'll change this to when it equals a 1. And now when it's a 1, we're going to switch over to the millibars. And of course, with millibars, we just want the four digits. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that 0 and tell it to round up and always display four digits. So we click OK. That is now set. Now, finally, what we need to do is modify that local variable. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and add event for when the button is pressed long, since short press is being used for uh, something else. And what we're going to do is add our action, change data value. And now we want to find that barrel mode that we created. So there's our barrow mode. And we're going to use the increment by a value of 1 so that we can use the limits to only allow it to go to 0 and 1. And with rollover, when it's a 1 and we add 1, it rolls back over to 0. So now that we've done that, if we go ahead and hold down that button, you'll see it switch to millibars. And if we hold it down again, you see it switch back. And of course, if we change our barrel, which I have a different control for, I see it change. I switch back. I see it change. Well, there you have it. That's all you got to do. Now you got your radio panel set up and displaying two different values based on a local variable. Well, guys, if you could go ahead, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Come along on the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.